Tonight we're kicking off a week-long series. It is the new invasion of privacy. Companies are not just tracking your information on this thing anymore. They're now tracking you. Consumer reporter Alana Otler explaining the everyday fixture you never knew is watching. Tell us more. And those eyes are everywhere, Doug, in the car, at the mall, even while you're filling up your tank. The question is whether we should be worried. They're everywhere you look, and now they're looking at you, too. Digital billboards with the ability to track your every move. You're saying that you are tracking customers? Yes. And that it's okay? I think so. It's like something out of a movie. Hello, Mr. Yakamoto. Because it is out of a movie. Screens knowing who you are, what you want, and where you're going, all in the name of advertising. We're doing that to where you can start to follow that person down the street if we wanted to. You heard it. Ads can actually change who's driving by. And it's not just billboards. We're talking gas pumps, mall directories, basically any digital platform in a high traffic area. And we've done uh, work for uh, car dealerships where we saw them come on the website, we saw what they were looking for driving down the street. We could deliver up a message on a, on a billboard where it's that specific vehicle they were looking for. Can billboards track you? No, billboards themselves um, cannot track you. It's the devices that are attached to the billboards or the devices that are attached to us. He's talking about our cell phones. Frank O'Brien is the CEO of Five Tier, an agency that controls the ads you see. Apps are by far the easiest way to call data because you're getting data that includes usage time, angle of a phone, altitude of a phone. Our phones contain everything advertisers want to know, from our search history to our GPS location. That data can then be read by devices used by certain screens. This data has been around for decades. Um, it's just been more pen and paper. Nowadays, it's just all digitized. It's some of the most intimate details of our lives are, are useful for advertising purposes. Thomas Germain with Consumer Reports wrote about this phenomenon last fall. He argues while companies can access your highly identifiable information, like your name or email, that's not typically the jackpot. Instead, they're more interested in what you're like uh, or what your behavior is. But information such as your income or sexuality is still personal. So is this practice the new invasion of privacy? You just need to know what it is that you're sharing and to whom. Associate Professor Michael Braun says if you're concerned, adjust your privacy settings and revoke permissions. Read the terms and conditions for every app requesting data. Some apps might be really good about not sharing information to third party providers. Others, that may be how they make money. To some, this may seem invasive, but to others, it's all relative. One thing I always like to say is I want to walk through this world and have it talk to me about things that I care about. Companies can also glean information from phone carriers or the cookies in your browser. It's hard to say for sure how many screens use this technology on a regular basis, but if you do want to search digital screens in your zip code, a company called Adomni created an interactive map. We've put that link on our website, cbsdfw.com, under links and numbers. Doug, some billboards even list common demographics they're trying to target. You should take a look. I was really amazed at how deep they drew down into this. I loved your Tom Cruise scene because it's so minority report, you know, just it freaks me out a it's little bit. It's too real, yeah. So the billboards specifically, mm -hmm. uh, are, are they targeting us as individuals? So not as often as you think they are. Ad execs say that's not in their best interest. It's also expensive. What's far more common is that companies will target a larger demographic. That's just better for marketing purposes, they say. Uh, they kind of did a wink and a nod saying we need to extricate ourselves from the center of the universe. Not always about us, but they're far more interested in our behavior than our actual habits. habits yeah. Right. Like yeah. they love our habits, not so much the nitty gritty of it makes our sense. personal lives. But you just said it's expensive. The minute that becomes cheap, yep. then, then, the, then the tables turn. Absolutely. Thank you for making us smarter tonight. Knowing a little bit more to watch out for. Help from Alana is always just a phone call or an email away. Her and our entire team, the Ones for Justice hotline, always available, 817 586 7211. Or you can email them, that's better for you, justice at cbs.com.